Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I'm a big Duresta fan, probably like most of you, and when I was at Maker Central earlier this year, I picked up this poster he printed. So not only have I now got something he made, it has my name on it. It's got Badger Workshop printed on it, so I absolutely had to get it. I wanted to make a frame for it inspired by something Jimmy had done. A few years ago, he made some frames for some tin type photos and he blackened them with the blowtorch, so I thought I'd do the same. But I didn't want to stop there. I wanted to add a box behind this to store some emergency scotch. After doing my first aid kit video, someone suggested I do this, so I thought it was a good idea. What I'm using for this is some oak, so I've planed and thickness it, now I'm ripping it down so it fits a bottle of scotch. The offcut should be just enough to actually make the frame, so that's worked out perfectly. I've just put one of these cheap clip frames to put the poster in, so you get the bit of perspex and the backing board, and now I can cut a rebate into the frame to accept it. With the rebate cut, I can start cutting the mitres for the frame. With the first one done, I get it put over the poster, and I can mark out where the second one needs to be made. With that mark done, I can then set up a stop block so I can get both pieces cut to the same length and I do this process for the long and the short sides. Then I can get it all glued together. Here I'm using my Veritas clamp to pull everything together. You just screw these nuts up and it really helps pull everything square. If you're interested in it, there's a link under the video to my Amazon page. So with the frame done, now I need to make the box to go behind it. So I cut bits down using the frame as a reference. Now I could have mitered these corners the same as the frame, but I decided to try something different and keep it a bit simpler. Before I can get it put together, I need to work out where everything goes. So I dig out my favourite bottle of scotch and work out where I need to cut some grooves. If you really want to treat yourself, the scotch is on my Amazon page too, under the Father's Day section. So with it all marked out where the grooves need to go, I can use a stop and my cross cut sled to make the cuts, just nibbling away at them. As I only need to make a few cuts, I didn't swap out to my flat tooth blade, so I had to get a chisel and just clean up the cut a little. Now I can get the box put together. As I say, I'm going for something very simple and we're just gonna butt joint this. I'm then going to come back later and reinforce all these joints. So just to hold it all together, I'm going to use a combination of clamps. I'm going to use this Veritas clamp on the bottom and then these Wolfcraft spring clamps at the top. When it's all dry, I can come back and use my dowel joiner to drill down 40 mils into these corners. I'm using this machine because I have it, but a drill and a steady hand would work just as well. I had some oak dowels at 12mm, so I'm just cutting these down to about 45mm and then I can get some glue in the holes and get them tapped into place. So these protrude about 5mm and I just sand them flush when it's dry. The box needs a rebate to take the back panel, so I'm just going to use the router for this. I raise a bearing guided bit a very small amount and I end up taking three passes to remove all the material. I'm going to make the back panel out of oak, so I joint one edge with a plane, and then I run that along the fence of the table saw to clean up the second edge. I can then get the panel glued and clamped up, and I leave this to dry. While I wait for the glue to dry, I can take the frame outside and work on it. With the blowtorch, I can really burn it. I want it very black and the wood to start to blister. When the panel's dried, I can get it cut to length and trimmed down to fit into the back. Because I used a router to cut the rebate, it's got rounded corners, so I find a washer with the same profile and then I can get this drawn onto the panel. I then use the random orbital sander to sand down to my line, rounding these corners off. 
the panel now fits into place. Now, I don't want to glue it into place, I'm just going to nail it in with some little copper panel pins. So I don't repeatedly hit my fingers, I just hold them with a pair of pliers and tap them into place. I now need to get the internal dividers in place. I have the wood I ripped down for the box, but because of the back panel, it now needs to be slightly thinner, so I rip a little strip off. I can get this divider in that separates the space between the bottle and the glasses, but now I want a little shelf to go in so I can get two glasses in there, in case I ever have a friend. I'd already cut one groove on the outside, so I just need to mark out where it needs to go on this divider, and then I can get it nibbled away like I did before. Now I can get the dividers installed, but this time with some glue on them. When all the glue had dried, I could get some finish on. I'm just going to get a couple of coats of Danish oil on. When the finish had dried, I could get the poster and clip frame put in. I just used a few panel pins to hold it in place. Now I can get the frame attached to the box, so I cut down a piano hinge to the size I need. Then I can use a self-centering drill bit to drill some pilot holes. Then the hinge gets screwed to the box. With the hinge on the box, I then get some scraps of wood to support the frame and repeat the process. To keep the door closed, I've got one of these double roller latches. I get this positioned roughly in the centre and then I mark out where the screw is going to need to go with a braddle. I use a 3mm brad point drill just to drill some pilot holes and then I can get some brass screws put in place. And that's it all done. Now just to get it put on the wall and get it filled up with some booze. So I wanted to be able to get a bottle of scotch and a couple of glasses, but actually there's room for two bottles of scotch and I could probably stack some more glasses if I really wanted to. So I'm ready for a real emergency. So that's it all done. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.